Hey, welcome to Gold's Scratch today. So, previous videos have been talking about my Pontiac 400s that I'm building, and there is one of them. Uh, but that's not the subject of today's build because it's a work in progress and I'm waiting on parts for it. So, we're kind of stalled. So, while we're waiting on that, there's our next uh, subject. So, this is a 1969 Chevrolet out of a 69 Chevrolet pickup truck. 307 cubic inch engine and 307 is uh, not one of the better known uh, Chevrolet engines. Uh, it was built uh, at McKinnon Industries in St. Catharines, Ontario and in 1969 I was lucky enough to be through that plant. A friend of mine, a good friend of mine, went to General Motors Institute. General Motors used to, General Motors used to train their own engineers, they probably still do in Flint and so because he was a Canadian his summer job was at McKinnon Industries and they built 307s at the time so it was a complete uh, engine shop starting at the foundry they cast their own block and heads and intake manifolds pretty much everything that goes on the engine and uh, and uh, a lot of three, 307s went out so why 307? A 307 is basically a a uh, combination of a 283 and 327. It's a 283 bore, 3 and 7 eighths bore, with a 327 stroke, 3 and a quarter inch stroke. So uh, that's how you get 307. And uh, why why did they do that? In the late 60s, GM and all the car makers were in a crunch. They were trying to make more power for their heavier cars. At the same time, they were being pressed by uh, environmental uh, forces. Uh, to have less emissions so one of the ways they d did that by having a longer stroke you have more swept volume and that gives you uh, less emissions and the longer stroke also, also gives you a little more torque so it was an economy emission engine it wasn't made for for high performance there was never a, a high performance version of one made until now because we're going to make one so this engine is the original engine from 69 Chevy truck, as I mentioned, and he uh, uh, got it taken out this morning. I just went and picked it up, and it's pretty grungy looking. We're going to power wash it and clean it off, strip it down, and see what it needs. And I want to give this, I'll give my customer a choice uh, between uh, rebuilding it exactly stock with a two barrel carburetor and a cast iron manifold and all that stuff or adding probably 100 horsepower. The 307s had less than 200 horsepower back in the day and uh, it's, it, it's possible to get 300 horsepower and still be very streetable. Depends how much you want to spend basically. So uh, that's what's going to happen next. I got to get stripped down and see what it needs. Uh, pretty sure it's, uh, it's the original engine and has, as far as I know has never been out of the truck since 1969. It looks like it too of course. But we'll have to borrow it, put new pistons at least. We'll see what the rest of the internals look like. Uh, it's, it had small cylinder heads. If you want to keep the stock heads, we've got to do some work on them to make them make power. So, so that's the introduction to this 307. Uh, we're going to have a couple more along the way. We'll have an interim when I get it all figured out and have the parts together. Uh, then running on the test stand, and i got to see if the customer wants to dyno it. Uh, I sure like the dyno because I like to know that it's going to make how much power it's going to make and see whether all our work and effort was we're getting the payback on it so thanks for watching Gold Scratch if you want to see more about a 307 before and after uh, from this uh, grungy uh, piece of equipment to a nice shiny uh, 307 pubby board out so it'll be like a 312 or a 14 something like that uh, once we bore it out and uh and built up and ready to go back in the truck. So thanks for watching Gold Scratch.